Hey there everybody, this is Founder Leroon and I am going to do a Discord and Audio 911 for our community. Uh, the main reason I decided to do this is because we have a lot of issues with audio with our community, especially if you're new and you've never used uh, Discord as a communication device. So I'm going to go through a few things to help you with that and hopefully this will help people out there as well. So the first thing I have up here is a screen that has the um, Discord download page. So it's discordapp.com forward slash download. And this is the actual download page for the application. Now when you first join Discord, it's going to basically give you a web page. And at that point, you'll be able to browse and, and take a look at your community that you've joined. The only problem is, is that it may interrupt with audio. So you want to make sure that you're um, you're uh, going to be using the application instead of just the um, chat window. Another thing is using the little apps for your phone and such. Those will work for like text or if you want to check your messages. But I wouldn't recommend those if you're going to take a lesson or if you want to carry on a, a long conversation uh, through voice. So a lot of things that happen that go wrong is the fact that people um, don't pay attention or know about simple etiquette as far as setting up their, their audio and such. So one thing that you want to check is down on the bottom right of your computer, you have a setting for your audio, which is your speaker volume and such. And if you right click on it, you want to click on open sound settings. And once you do that, you can look through here and you should be able to see, you know, your input device, your output device, your volumes. You can also check your incoming signal. As you can see, it's, it's ch tracking mine. And then you can actually go into the advanced settings in the application settings and figure out, you know, which, which defaults of output and input you want to use for which application. So this is more of an advanced setup, but I don't want to mess your computer up, but I wanted you to kind of know that there's the first place you look uh, if you're having you know, audio or sound issues. Make sure those are all set up. The next thing is, like I said, you download this app, you install it, and I'm using Windows 10, so it might be a little different for a Mac, I apologize, but uh, the principles or the ideals are still the same. So once you have this downloaded and installed, um, you want to make sure that you have your device plugged in first. So I can't stress this more. It happens quite often where you'll be in Discord and you'll be asked to join a, a chat and you weren't ready for it. Or perhaps you just joined and you didn't know. But um, if you plug in a device after you already have Discord up and running, it will potentially cause the... Um, the application to uh, not work as far as audio goes, excuse me. And that is something you want to try to avoid. So that is something that uh, may or may not be able to be helped. Uh, the other thing is um, you want to also make sure that, um, you know, that Discord is going to be um, keeping focus. So in other words, if you switch between applications, you don't want it to your audio to cut out. So you want to make sure that that's, that's working for you as well. Um, the next thing I want to go over is uh, Discord itself. So the main thing is download the application, install it, but before you start it, you want to actually plug in your device if you have one. Also, make sure your battery's charged and that your port is are already plugged in all the way. So a lot of people say, oh, it's plugged in, and they realize it's like halfway pulled out. So, and also the inline mute switch on your mic, uh, that's another common issue. So make sure those are, are done. Um, then the next step is, I'm gonna go into Discord itself, and this application's already installed. And on your left here are all the servers that you join. In this case, this is Fantasy Grounds College. So if you look at the top left of the screen here where I'm kind of moving the mouse around, this is for uh, the actual server. So if you click on that, that takes you to the server. You click up here on the home button, it'll take you to the home button and then all your private conversations, your friend requests, 
all those will show there. But I want to go back to Fantasy Grounds College and to check your audio in Discord, which is another place where you have to check, is your user settings. So if you go to your user settings, you go to voice and video, you'll see the input and output device uh, listed here. And you want to make sure you have the right one selected. If you leave it on default, sometimes other applications will rob the actual uh, audio signal. So hopefully um, you guys will be able to hear what I'm saying. So if I lost my audio focus, I was hoping that uh, someone would let me know because <laughs> I've had that happen where I've gone on a long spiel and all of a sudden there's no audio for the for the crowd. So this is what I'm talking about, audio focus. If you switch between Discord and OBS and your browser, you can potentially lose audio. So that's something that you'll have to work out. And I've been recommended to use uh, launching in um, your administrative mode, but that some may not work for some people. It depends on your drivers that you have for your audio card, so on and so forth. Um, so yes, I don't want to get into computing too much, but you do really need to understand these little intricacies of of audio for, especially when you're playing games and you want to use your voice. Well, so you got to have this set up right. So in the voice settings, you have your input and output device. You have your input volume and your output volume. Um, there's a test app here. Um, also push to talk. You want to use that if you can, so that we don't hear background noises like people coughing and sniffing and children wanting your attention and your wife yelling at you and your dog barking. So keep that on if you can, and then set a button on your keyboard that you don't use very much to trigger the audio talking. And you have to hold the button down. Some people don't like that, but that's that's just a, a nice way to have table etiquette. Um, some servers or some settings in Discord require push to talk. So just keep that in mind. Um, so anyways, I have that set. Um, the other thing you might want to set so you don't go nuts is again, back in user settings, notifications, and you want to turn off all these unread badge notifications so it doesn't drive you nuts. And then the other thing is you scroll down further, you want to um, basically turn off all these audio settings the only ones I have on are outgoing ring and incoming ring. All the other ones are shut off. So you don't have a bunch of extra bleeps, blips, and bloops when you're trying to stream or play in a game or you know you get distracted by people coming and going out of your server. So to change that, you just come to the notifications. You go up here to the top and this is where you change the visual ones. And then the audio notifications, you can come scroll down and turn those off. So just make sure that you understand that first. So this is uh, just a, uh, you know, basically a, a way to help you uh, from going insane. The other thing is when you join a new server, a lot of people get annoyed because they keep getting notifications. Well, some of the things I'm showing you now, that is a way to deal with your notifications. So. If you use that, make sure that your notification settings are turned off if that's a problem for you. And a lot of people are kind of ignorant to that fact, but if you right click on the server you are in or one that you've joined, then right click on it and go to notification settings. And here you want it to mute it and then leave it uh, uh, muted until you want it to turn back on or if you want it all. And then you can suppress at everyone in at here and you can even suppress certain role mentions. So this will cut down on the, your direct messages uh, from the server. But if someone right clicks on your name and they mention your name directly, there's really nothing you can do about that. Except for, of course, not beyond Discord. I don't recommend putting it on your phone if you can help it. Um, the main thing is when you start other applications, it will potentially rob focus so like if you start another app and you're in the middle of discord and you're trying to talk or record something there is a potential that your, your focus will be lost so you're gonna have to play around with your audio settings 
and do some test recording before you go out and do any streaming or any uh, audio blogs or anything like that. So hopefully this helps a little bit. Uh, Discord is a little little bit uh, tricky to kind of get used to at first. And uh, using Discord, though, overall for, for communication app is, is a pretty good bet. Um, there are other alternatives out there, but um, Discord has the, probably the best free uh, technology and uh, functionality. So anyways, um, that'll be it for today. This is for just like Discord and OBS and uh, uh, whatever audio setup you have. Just make sure that you don't lose focus and that Fantasy Grounds uh, doesn't rob focus from your, your uh, voice because that, that'll happen too. Sometimes when you open up Fantasy Grounds, if you do that in the middle of talking, you will get CPU jitter and it'll sound all garbled and messed up and even drop out. So you want to make sure you have Fantasy Grounds open, all your apps open before you start uh, messing around with your audio settings. So anyhow, um, you have a good day. And again, this is to help the community. So hopefully this uh, helps you guys out. Uh, thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.